guys so the uh, four paints today that we'll be comparing to the uh, Honda Cloud Silver is the Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover um, the color is metallic aluminum a Krylon metallic color in dull aluminum a VHT caliper paint in cast aluminum and finally a Rust-Oleum metallic in silver metallic uh, let's uh, take a quick look at each one of these uh, under the light. Um, I have a couple different lighting situations for you here. This is just a, a uh, standard white light LED above us right now. Um, I can change the color temperature on these so you can see them individually. So um, here is the Rust-Oleum up close, the 2X um, in metallic aluminum. It's got a really fine grain uh, metallic in it, um, and it looks pretty good. Um, I've used this a couple times on um, some wheels, and they look um, they come out pretty good. Um, then we'll go on to the Krylon metallic. Um, it has a little bit of a flatter finish. Um, the metallic is still really fine. All these the metallics are really really fine. Um, this one lays down pretty even, um, but um, I think that it has a little bit less gloss than the uh, the 2X um, Rust-Oleum. Uh, now onto the VHT Caliper Paint in cast aluminum. This one has a nice gloss to it, um, real fine aluminum. Um, metal flake in it and it looks really good. It lays down really nice. And then we have finally the Rust-Oleum Metallic um, in Silver Metallic. And this one has probably the second highest uh, gloss to it. It's uh, It lays down. The metallic's really fine on this one too. I think this one's probably was one of the hardest ones to get the uh, finish consistent. So um, let's uh, take a look at these one by one um, next to a Cloud Silver sample that I shot last night. Guys, let's take a look at our first contender against the Cloud Silver paint. We have our Cloud Silver on this side and we have the Rust-Oleum Metallic on this side. Uh, Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic 7271. Um, the resounding theme throughout this video is going to be that all the paints that we're comparing the cloud silver to are going to be more of a satin finish so um, just keep that in mind the uh, Honda cloud silver is more of a gloss semi-gloss I would say um, so just keep that in mind when painting if you want um, to make the metallic um, rust-oleum look a little bit more like this it's gonna take a, I think a clear over it so um, let's take a quick side by side. Um, the the Honda Cloud Silver definitely has a bigger metallic um, compared to the Rust-Oleum over here. Um, the Rust-Oleum is also a lighter color, and that might be because this has a glossing agent in it. So compared to this, um, so there. Give you a quick look and see which one you can make your own mind up here. Um, I kind of have these um, in the order of what I think is worst to best. Um, let's give you a quick uh, lighting color change here and see if you can tell a difference. It's a little more just basic white light. Honda. Rust-Oleum Metallic. One more lighting change, it's more of a uh, daylight color. All right, our next contender will be another Rust-Oleum product, the 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. Color is 
uh, metallic aluminum, and it's 249128. Let's take a closer look. Uh, let me go back to my original color here. So again, I, this is pretty close to the other Rust-Oleum um, in color and in texture. Um, I would say that they're pretty dang close, but let's give you a comparison here. Here we go. Show you in a couple different lights here. If you can see any difference between it. That's all white there. Here's more of a daylight. Give you a little close up of that. This is Rust Oleum. This is Cloud Silver. Next, we will be checking out the Krylon. So the Krylon is right here. Let's go back to my original color. Here guys. Quick look. Um, I think that this is probably one of the least um, like the Honda paint because uh, the metallic on this is so fine. It's almost just like silver paint. Uh, the color on this is dull aluminum. It's uh, 1403. This is also, I think, is the most satin out of all the ones that we are checking today. Um, let me give you that. Let me show you in a different color. Here is just basic white. And here is daylight. Let me show you in daylight here. This is definitely the lightest of the colors too. Um, I think our next paint is probably gonna be the winner, I think, if you guys are looking for the closest that I can find. And it is the VHD caliper paint that everyone talks about. Um, I think it is the closest that I could find on the shelf. Um, the color is cast aluminum. The number is SP735. And um, I'll give you a quick look at that. I think the metallics are the closest Change my color back. Metallics are definitely the closest um, in grain, but it still is not as glossy as the Honda Cloud Silver. So um, just keep that in mind. There you go. A couple different angles. Change the color for you. This one is definitely the closest. It's definitely the most glossy, um, but I still think that it could stand a, a satin on this. Um, you can kind of tell there, this is the Honda Silver, and this is the metallic um, VHT, what is it, uh, cast aluminum. So you kind of tell the different gloss levels here. Turn it back to a different color here. Original color. Give you one quick look. So this is the cast aluminum. And this is the Honda Cloud Silver. So if you can lay them over top, you can kind of see the color difference there. It's still a little bit lighter, but I think that um, if you were to put a gloss on this, it would be pretty dang close. So uh, there you go guys. My opinion is that uh, you go buy some VHD caliper paint, but if you want the real thing, spend the 20 bucks and get this. Um, it'll last you a long time. You can spray a lot of wheels, a lot of engine covers, stator covers, uh, clutch covers with this. Um, so if you can find it, get it. If not, 
The closest second would be the VHT caliper paint. Uh, third, let's see. The next one would be, I would say, the uh, Ultra Cover, then the Rust-Oleum Metallic, and then the Krylon Metallic. Um, it's still my favorite. I wouldn't suggest painting with that. So, uh, good luck, guys, on your project, and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.